Morristown High School attempted to defend its girls lacrosse tournament of champions title Saturday against Oak Knoll School and started strong. Kayla Frank scored a goal and assisted on one of a pair by Ashley Nutt as the Quakers took a 3-2 lead, but Oak Knoll scored four of the next five goals. Katie Duttenhofer scored three in the first half, and the Royals led 7-5 at halftime. Today was all about working with my teammates. They really do a great job of drawing doubles, and I just slip under. I mean, it's all their work. I'm just, you know, catching the ball and doing what I can. I think today was all about staying composed, and we did that. Morristown answered Oak Knoll's surge by scoring the first two goals of the second half. Just step it up, especially on defense. We weren't doing our best, so just tried to get the momentum back our way and just step it up for the team. Kayla Frank tied the game at 7-7 with 20.05 left, but less than two minutes later, Oak Knoll was back up a pair. Guttenhofer's fourth made it 9-7 with 18.06 remaining. We've been saying all season, keep your foot on the gas pedal, and um, that's what we were just trying to do. I mean, just keep going and going. Morristown's an excellent team, and we knew they weren't going to stop fighting, so... We just had to make sure we were fighting harder. Frank made it a one-goal game again on a restart, but again the Royals responded. Julia Ford's second of the game closed the scoring as Oakville won 10-8. It brought a disappointing end to Morristown's season, but the Quakers are still a Group 3 state champion in Coach Colleen Hancock's inaugural year. We went through so much adversity, so many different ups and downs in the seasons. It was definitely a transition with coaches and new players, and just I think at the end of the, end of the day we just became a family, and it was it was a pretty fun team to play with will always be an accomplishment to have made it to the Tournament of Champions final um, and especially like I said because it's my first year these girls will be forever ingrained in my heart. From Kane University this is John Lewis.